Hey boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about our bubble prints and we're going to be making them into something else. This one that I did was really, really good. It came out really well. Um, this one came out very well too. You could see all the little bubble prints that it made. It's totally dry, totally dry. Um, this one came out really well too. The last two, green I think. Um, didn't come out very strong, but you could still see the bubbles in it and it did bend the paper a little bit so you can see the bubbles with the bent paper. So we're going to take those and we're going to be making them into hydrangeas. So hydrangea is a kind of flower and it depends on the color with what um, kind of soil you plant them in. So uh, the same hydrangea, plant, pl hydrangea plant could be a totally different color depending on where you plant it. If we are looking at these hydrangea plants, you could tell that um, there is a great texture in there that closely resembles our bubble prints. So some of the hydrangeas, oh, like over here, are more of a white color. Some are purple, some are blue, some are pink, some are red. Um, it varies very, um, uh, it has a, a huge variance in what colors you can find. Um, you can also find green when the white ones aren't quite um, in full bloom yet. They turn from green to white, so you can find them in green as well. Um, orange, not so much, but we're artists, so we can make it orange if we want. Okay, so on the ones that show up really well, like th these ones, you can just take them and you can find where the edges are and you're going to start cutting them. You want to cut leaving those little curves in there. If you can't see the curve, make it up. You're an artist. You can do that. You're allowed to make stuff up. Um, I might, after I do the outline of this, go back. Now, this right here is on the edge and I don't want it to be a straight edge, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to make my own little curves. I'm going to come back up over here. Go over here. Making my own, making my own. Then I'm going to follow um, the curves again when I see them again. And I might not use parts of this. I don't know. We're going to see how it looks at the end. If it looks like a flower then I might use it. If it doesn't, I might not. So this is one right here. I might make that into two. Um, I'm not really sure. This one I definitely want to keep because it's nice and bright. So I'm going to go along this edge and make it that curved shape. Now I don't like this part, so I'm just going to cut it right off. Boop! So you can make it into whatever you want to fancy it to be whatever shape but it has to have that signature curve that bubble curve on the end so it has the texture which is one of our art elements it has the texture of our hydrangea plants and I might separate this oh sorry that's my dog okay so that's cool oh I like that that's very neat okay so I have three right there I'm gonna throw this out I have this one. I'm going to go to time lapse to do the rest of these. One thing I do want to show you on these layer ones is if you can't really see where the bubble ends, you can go ahead and take a pencil, you can take a marker, you can take whatever you can find around the house and you can make your bubbles. Like I have some really um, light bubbles right there, but they're not dark enough for me. So I'm going to go right over them, skip them and go to the next layer of bubbles. Now to make your um, hydrangea bush, you need a lot of green leaves in the background. I have a green crayon. I'm assuming most of you have crayons. If you want to use a color pencil, that is fine. If you want to use a color marker or green color marker, that is fine as well. Um, the leaves on a hydrangea are pretty big, 
like this. And they usually have like things like go like that. If you don't want to do this, that's fine. Um, I'm going to color it in very quickly. This is a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be, this green color. So I'm going to do that all around in time lapse and we'll see what we get. Okay, so if you take a look at my leaves right now, they are not meant to look like perfect leaves. I was, um, you couldn't see how quickly I was going because everything looks quick in time lapse, but I was really just scribbling around, um, trying to find a good texture for my leaves, trying to find um, a nice blend of two colors. This is just two colors blended together. Um, over each other or not over each other and just next to each other just have fun I mean like just scribble around for the leaves it doesn't have to be this shape it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be it, I I like seeing these lines I like seeing that it's just sketched in I like seeing that I like seeing the lines so um, play around with it just scribble around and then you have a background for your bubbles. Now I'm probably just gonna pick maybe two of my bubble sheets to make my hydrangeas. Maybe just two, oh, I like that. Uh, I might just do that. So we'll see what happens. The lighter ones I'm probably not gonna pick because the darker ones look so much better. So maybe I'll have a little one in there that's really dark and then these two lighter ones, I don't know. Maybe I want to cut this down. This is a bit big. So, um, once I am done with the leaves, I'm just going to glue these guys on. And then you can download it to Artsonia and you are good to go. Um, if you want to put, you don't have to put your name on it because you're just downloading it to Artsonia under your name. So I will have directions on my webpage on how to download to Artsonia. I'll also, also send that email to your parents and I will include the instructions on how to download this to Artsonia. So I am making hydrangeas. Now, if you see something else in the bubbles, you don't see the texture of hydrangeas. Maybe you see the texture of, I don't know, I don't even want anything in your head maybe cotton candy and you want to do the background of wherever you would find cotton candy feel free to change it into anything you see in your um, bubble art because it's all about art it's all about being creative it's all about finding what you find and having your art lead you to places that maybe you didn't even think you were gonna go to so have fun with it when you're done download it um, if you could send me an email saying how long it took you, if this might be a two week kind of thing. So if you want to stop after 20 minutes, please stop after 20 minutes. And then we can count this as your project for next week as well. All right. All right. Have fun.